Meet Diane Primavera, Lieutenant Governor of the State of Colorado. Hi, I'm Diane Primavera and I'm the Lieutenant Governor of the State of Colorado. I've been a disability rights advocate for many years and I'm a breast cancer survivor, so I have been a member of the disability community as well. The Polis administration believes that Colorado must be a place where everyone has opportunity. For many years, people with disabilities were prohibited from earning a living, saving money, investing in our futures because doing so would make them ineligible for Medicaid. Medicaid is more than health insurance. We understand that people need Medicaid for health care, but also for equipment like wheelchairs, for help with personal care, and even for help at the job and so much more. Medicaid is what enables people to live independently. In 2012, the need to choose between Medicaid and employment went away with the implementation of the Medicaid buy-in for working adults with disabilities. That allows people to get Medicaid and, if needed, long-term support services while earning livable wages. This program enables people to get the services and supports they need and to join the workforce. The Polis Administration is committed to preserving and growing this vital program because we believe opportunity must be for everyone. We are excited to see people with disabilities escape forced poverty and encourage you to check out this amazing option. Have you thought that you could not work and keep your Medicaid? Are you sick of not having enough money? Are you tired of being bored at home? There is an amazing program here in Colorado that can solve these problems. In Colorado, people with disabilities can get Medicaid, including long-term services and supports like CDOS, non-medical transportation, and you can work if you meet four criteria. One, you have a job, any job. The job can be full-time, part-time, and even less than part-time. As long as it is real work with a real pay of at least minimum wage, it can be self-employment or you can work for an employer. Two, you have a disability. Three, you meet income qualifications. There is no asset test, meaning you can save money. And four, you must be between the ages of 16 and 65. Meet Josh Winkler from Cripple Concepts, former NASCAR engineer and Medicaid buy-in participant. In 2008, I was laid off from my job on a NASCAR team as an engineer and was never going to be able to work again due to an issue with work incentives for people with disabilities. The Colorado Medicaid buy-in program has allowed me to start my business, Cripple Concepts, to save money for my future because there is no asset limit and to earn real money, not just stay under the, the paltry sums you're allowed under standard eligibility criteria. It's taken me a lot of years to build up to the equipment I have, the shop I have, and the diverse products I'm able to sell. But the Medicaid buying program was the only way I could have gotten to the point I am today. So are you excited yet? You can apply online by going to the PEAK website. Go to the website and remember to check yes for the question about disability. And if you need long-term care, check yes for that question as well. On the buy-in, you are always counted as a household of one. Only you are insured and only your income counts. Depending on your income, you will pay a premium. If your income is low, the premium may be zero or maybe only $25. If your income is high, it will be either $130 or $200 per month. You can pay your premium online at the PEAK website, and we highly recommend you use that service. If you think you are on the buy-in but are not getting premium notices, check in with us because this means you are not registered with the buy-in. Even if your premium is zero, you still get notices. To stay on the buy-in, you must pay attention to your notices. If you get them by email, make sure to check your email or ask for them to be mailed to you. Always respond to your email or mail. Meet Curtis Wolf, Medicaid buy-in participant. Two and a half years ago, I got stung by the wrong mosquito and ended up with paralyzed with West Niles. 
and uh, settled in my spine. I was a business owner, ran uh, my own business for 10 years. I was told about um, something called the business buy-in program. So the buy-in program allowed me to be on Medicaid, still have insurance for the needs that I had, and I ran my business yet for about another six months before finally, it was just a matter it was too hard to run as a contractor. And uh, so between being on Medicaid, buying into that my $130 a month that I paid, um, I still have great health insurance, I contribute to it, and I'm still allowed to work and still get the benefit of being on Medicaid. Let's look at a few myths we can bust. You can have the buy-in and HCBS, and you do not have to do an income trust. You can choose to answer the questions about your assets or ignore them. Assets are not relevant to the buy-in program. If your job is seasonal or has long breaks, as long as you are attached to the job, meaning you will be taken back, you can stay on the buy-in. One example would be a teacher who has summers off but knows they will be back in the fall. A volunteer job does not count as employment for the buy-in. Neither does a job in a sheltered workshop. It has to be real employment making at least minimum wage. If you have problems getting through the process, call CCDC at 303-839-1775 extension 1, or email advocacy at ccdconline.org. Meet Nikki, Master of Social Work graduate student. Hi, my name is Nicole Bishop, and I'm a social work graduate intern at Colorado Cross Disability Coalition. When I was younger, I was receiving my bachelor's degree in social work, and I was really motivated to work and have a job and have some income coming in. However, I found out that if I did this, I would lose all of my caregiving services that I use on a daily basis to be able to survive, to be able to get up out of bed, get into my wheelchair, take a shower, use the bathroom, eat, all of the daily living activities that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. However, I was going to have to choose between keeping those caregiving services or having a job. But thanks to Medicaid buy-in, I now don't have to make that choice. I can purchase my Medicaid and continue to keep my caregiving services while also having upward mobility and maintaining employment. If you are on SSI, you cannot be on the buy-in program because SSI comes with Medicaid for free. As soon as you have over $2,000 in assets, or your income goes higher than SSI allows, you can switch to the buy-in. If you have SSDI, you can be on the buy-in. If you have a current disability determination from Social Security, this will be in the Medicaid computer system. You should call Social Security and ask about your diary date. This is the date when your disability will be redetermined. Everyone has a diary date. If you do not have SSI or SSDI and have no current disability status with Social Security, you need to get the state to do what is called a limited disability determination. They use the same criteria but do not rule you out if you are working. This lets many more people in. Fill out all the forms completely and accurately. If you have evidence of your disability, such as a hearing or vision test or other testing done, please send this information with the forms. You need to provide the forms to the county office and ask them to send the forms in to the state contractor. Always keep a copy for yourself. They have up to 90 days to make a decision, but rarely take that long especially if they can get medical records quickly. If you love the buy-in program, let us know why. Call CCDC, again that number is 
or email advocacy at ccdconline.org. We may be calling on you to tell policymakers how important this program is. Share the word. We need more people with disabilities to be working and using this great program. CCDC would like to thank the Lieutenant Governor of the State of Colorado, Diane Primavera, for her generous time and assistance with this video. Copyright Colorado Cross Disability Coalition, 2019.